Married in September, Chris and Amy Labby embarked on a European honeymoon earlier this month. One week ago, the newlyweds from Poland, Maine, arrived in Paris, France, just hours before the terrorists struck. I think we actually probably heard it a little bit before everyone else just because we happened to have the TV on. The couple was not near the areas that were attacked, but Amy says the fact that the terrorists went after soft targets like restaurants concerned her. It made me feel a lot more vulnerable, for sure. Chris and Amy decided against coming home early, but they did spend a full day hunkered down in their hotel before continuing their trip. On Monday, they walked outside and found this, a sea of people gathered at the Sorbonne for a moment of silence. At exactly 12 o'clock, this silence fell over the crowd and um, you could hear a pin drop and it, it was incredibly powerful. I started to cry um, and then the crowd broke out into the French national anthem and it was just incredibly powerful. <laughs> The couple also got to see the Eiffel Tower light up again for the first time after the attacks. Amy and Chris will always remember the defiance and pride they witnessed. The people of Paris definitely didn't let it stop them. I mean, there was constantly, it looked like with the number of people in the streets that nothing had happened. happened. Um, the only thing I guess you would notice is that there was a lot of military and police presence everywhere. I think more than monuments and statues will remember the intangibles, the feelings, the um, the power of being with them during that moment of silence and seeing the kindness that people exhibited toward one another. In Poland, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.